I love Daniel Namath's music. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing him back. He speaks very specifically to the point that we're trying to make tonight. So I wonder what his opinion would be of lifestyle design. So we're going to talk a little bit about the video and then expand upon it as usual. And before we do that, I wanted to tell you how I came across the idea of lifestyle design. It was from the book Four Hour Work Week. Has anybody read Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss? He also has a book called Four Hour Body. Um, and yeah, <laughs> uh, he's a little extreme in his views of things or his techniques to getting from one place to another. But the ideas that he brought forth were groundbreaking for me in terms of the fact that, hey, wait a minute. We have choices here that we're making, that we can make. There's nothing written in stone that says that you have to work 40 hours a week at a job, which you commute an hour each way to, and you know, then you have to go home, watch sitcoms, and then go to bed. There's no written rule that says that. And for me, that was groundbreaking. <laughs> so that was my first introduction to the idea that I can make the rules. I can design my life the way that I want it around the value system that I want. So, which leads me back to the video. I like that video because I like the idea of the allegory of the cave, although it's taken a little differently from what Plato originally intended. But the imagery of being in a cave and that hiding in a cave is fear of reaching our own potential, to me, was a, a really strong imagery. We, that we're living in fear, we're living in a cave, in which we're telling ourselves that we can't get out. Mm -hmm. But we do have the capacity to get out. We have the capacity to change our message. And lifestyle design is changing that message. Lifestyle design is reaching your potential and living to your highest purpose. And if working and driving an hour or two and from work each day and working 40 hours a week in an office is not reaching your highest potential, what is going to reach your highest potential? Now, on the other hand, if working 40 hours a week and driving an hour each way is reaching your highest potential, please keep doing that because that's what you're meant to do. For me, that wasn't what I was meant to do. I can say that pretty sh for sure. <laughs> so I came across this meme on Facebook when I was looking through, um, when I was trying to figure out what to say tonight. And it says, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. And I think at one point, most Americans get there. <laughs> where they get so busy making a living, you get so busy in the grind, in the nine to five, in the, you know, I have to make money so that I can keep food on the table, so that I can keep my kids in private school, whatever your thing is, so, so that I can drive a Mercedes. We get caught in this grind of trying to get more and more and more, trying to, you know, make a living that we forget to step back and say, what is my life? And that's where lifestyle design comes in. So how to live your life by design. I want to be clear. When I was going through this, I was going to talk about The Secret. And I love the book, The Secret. But I felt like the short videos about The Secret missed the point. They focus on, you know, learn the secret so you can get more money. Learn the secret so you can lose weight. Learn the secret so that you can have a car. You can have your, you know, trip to Tahiti. Okay. Read the secret so you can get all those things. <laughs> but I think that that is missing the point. I think a lifestyle, lifestyle design says, if that's what you want, you can have all those things. But is that really what you want? Do you really want to lose weight? Because if you do, you can. Do you really want to go to Tahiti? What are you willing to give up in order to be able to go to Tahiti? 
That's what you have to figure out. Figure out what are your non-negotiables. And in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey calls these your big rocks. And once you figure out your big rocks, you're good. Now, what I don't like about all the self-help books is that they say, figure out your big rocks, your non-negotiables about health, family, spiritual, prosperity, abundance, relationships, your professional, and then they stop. <laughs> well, as if that's so easy to figure out what your non-negotiables are. That takes work, that takes time, that takes years of trying to put square pegs and round holes and put round pegs and square holes and trying to work out what really are my non-negotiables. I figured out for me, related to family, my non-negotiable is that I needed to be home from the hours of 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day. I needed to be with my children because studies have shown that the hours of 3 p.m. to 6 p.m are the hours that children are most at risk for making risky choices. Mm -hmm. So that was my non-negotiable. So I have designed my life around that non-negotiable related to my family. So that means that I can't have a nine to five because then I wouldn't be home from three to six, right? That means I had to give up some glory. <laughs> I had to give up some recognition I had to give up some professional opportunities that looked really cool because I had a non-negotiable that I knew. I had a big rock that I knew wasn't going anywhere. So that's what I'm talking about when I say lifestyle design. I'm not talking about the trip to Tahiti, although maybe someday that would be nice. But right now, that's not a big rock for me. So figure out what those non-negotiables are, and if you can't, we're here to help. We have life coaches, we have ministers, we have a community right here. We're having a class in a few weeks to help you figure out what those non-negotiables are. The next part is schedule your big, rock, or big rocks. And this was another big eye-opener, not so much for me, but for my husband. When he finally figured out Google Calendar, <laughs> That was an amazing eye-opening experience for him because he scheduled, he puts in everything now, and it can be color-coded, and every time that he puts something in, right now, a big non-negotiable for him is his health, and that means working out. So he puts in Google Calendar his health every day, and every day, he has to make a conscious decision to press that button to say, yes, I acknowledge that I got that, the <laughs> alarm. And then he has to be intentional and remove the excuses and say either, yes, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do and keep my agreement to myself, or no, I'm not gonna do it. But putting it, scheduling it in his calendar and getting an alarm and a reminder makes sure that he has to be intentional about it. So that's one little, trick that you can use tomorrow or tonight. You can start putting in your big rocks. The next thing is to be conscious of how you feel. That is going to help you acknowledge what your non-negotiables are. If you can listen to that still small voice inside of you and you can say, hmm, I have a choice here to eat a cookie or not eat a cookie. If I eat this cookie, how is it going to make me feel? How what? Am I being intentional right now? Or am I trying to eat something away? Eat away my problem? Mm -hmm. So being conscious of how you feel will help you get in touch with what those non-negotiables non are and what those big rocks are. And also, be gentle with yourself. If you choose to eat that cookie, eat the cookie. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and know that, okay, you didn't keep the agreement with yourself that time if your agreement was to not eat cookies. But that's okay, because you're human. You're fallible. Mm. And you can try again in the next two minutes, as he 
said in the video, every day is today. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice to forgive yourself at every moment and be gentle with yourself. And lastly, find a support system. And we have a support system right here. And life coaches are a great support system for helping you live your lifestyle by design. And it's not so much about holding you accountable or being Jillian Michaels or something like that. It's more about helping you through the process of becoming. And that's what your support system should be doing. And Reverend John is going to talk a little bit more about that in masterminds and finding those people who are going to support you no matter what. Mm. So... When you're thinking about what these non-negotiables are that you want to design your life around, it's good to have some resources to fall back upon. Wow. So I put together a couple of my favorites, and I tried to put together a couple that were quick and easy reads, some of which you can find, if not the whole book online for free, you can find parts of the book online for free, or you can find parts of the manual or the system online for free. So I'll leave this up here for a second. The first one is related to money. So what are your non-negotiables around money? And The Soul of Money is a great book, which I think Reverend John recommended to me. So um, it's duly recommended. <laughs> Seven Habits of Highly Effective People talks about the big rocks and the little rocks. Getting the Love You Want was recommended to me by our life coach Ali. So. Again, duly recommended. And that's going to help you deal with your love relationships. Women, Food, and God, which I wish she did not name Women, Food, and God and had just named Food and God. <laughs> because men can benefit from this book just as much as women. And the seven laws of spiritual success is a quick, easy, free read that you can just Google tonight. And it will get you inspired. It will get you thinking differently. So when you're thinking about lifestyle design, and you're thinking about those non-negotiables, I want to leave you with a question that the video talked about. What is the message that you're giving to yourself and to life? And design your life around that positive message. 